Today we're going to look at another example of how to find inverse functions. So let's do two exercises. For the following exercises, find the inverse function of x for each function. This notation, all that that means is just the inverse function, okay, f minus 1 of x. So how we're going to do this is first I start with my function and instead of writing, or instead of having f of x, I'm going to write y. y is equal to 2 minus x. Now, in order to create the inverse function of this thing, all I need to do is simply write an x where I see y, and then simply write y where I see x. So in other words, what's the, what this is going to become, it's going to become x equals 2 minus y now, okay? This original one here was the original function f of x, and this one over here is now going to be the inverse function, f of x minus 1. That's what it means to find the inverse. You're just going to switch the x's and the y's, basically. It basically undoes the original function, but uh, who cares, right? Just Let's just know how to solve it. So now what we need to do is we need to find y. Okay, you have to take this now and solve it for y. So we can do that in a couple of ways. Maybe I want to add the y on over to the left. Right, when I do that, we're going to get y plus x is equal to 2. And then maybe I'm going to want to subtract now the x from both sides. Right, and when I do that, we're going to get y is equal to 2 minus x. This right here, my friends, is now the inverse function. Okay, now I wouldn't necessarily leave it in that particular, with that particular notation, instead of writing y now, the reason why I do it with y is because it's easy to follow and it doesn't get all kind of messy. Um, we're going to simply just write in f of x minus 1 in place for that y, because that is the inverse function. And then it's going to be equal to 2 minus x. All right, so this now right here that I just, that I am going to just highlight is the inverse function okay, of this original function. It's as simple as that. So let's run through the second example, watch how fast we can do it. All right, so first thing is, turn this into just y. 3 minus x. Then write x here and write y there. Solve this now for y. So add y on both sides. So it's y plus x is equal to 3. Subtract then the x. Right? Remember, I'm just solving this for y, that's all. 3 minus x. And now remember that this is the inverse function okay, that I just found. Right? So instead of writing y there, I'm going to write f of x minus 1 is equal to 3 minus x. And voila. This now represents the inverse function of the original. Guys, I hope that helped. All right. Pretty simple stuff, right? Not bad at all. It's like weird when you read it. It's like inverse function. Oh boy. But it's very straightforward. All right. Just substitute the x's and the y's, switch them basically, and then just solve it for y. And that's it. And then just throw an f of x minus 1. Guys, appreciate it very much. Please help us out if you can and subscribe. Tell your friends. We appreciate it. And we'll see you soon. Take care.